The Christmas Carol Born of Adversity Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was one of America's first renowned poets. He is well known for his work, The Ride of Paul Revere, and The Song of Hiawatha, but much of his work was colored by tragedy and sorrow in his personal life. On July 9, 1861, his wife's gauzy dress accidentally caught fire and she was quickly engulfed in flames. Henry was burned and scarred from attempting to put out the flames for his beloved, but the burns caused his wife to die the next day. Two years later, Henry's son Charlie ran off to serve the Union Army in the deadly U.S. Civil War over his father's objections. Charlie wrote, I have tried to resist the temptation of going without your leave but cannot any longer. Like thousands of others, Charlie was seriously wounded in battle in the fall of 1863. As Henry wrestled with his profound grief, he penned a poem that captured his frustration with the war and mankind with these words. And in despair I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said. For hate is strong, and mocks the song of peace on earth and goodwill to men. Though, his grief was consuming. His confidence in the providence of God finished the poem with a message of hope. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, goodwill to men. The complete carol records his turmoil and stands as a classic work today that is sung the world over every Christmas and it begins with. I heard the bells on Christmas Day their old, familiar carols play and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men.